So realtors, you wanna generate leads using video in your real estate business? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down the three best videos you can create today that are not only gonna generate you warm quality leads, leveraging a platform that you all know called YouTube, these are also gonna crack open your database, build trust with people, and get them engaging with you more than ever before so that you can start having better conversations, warm people up, and generate new leads all at the same time. So I'm gonna break down all three of these really easy to make videos that are proven to generate generate leads and warm up your database in a really effective way. Now, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you one bonus video that's gonna help you also win more listing presentations by preceding your listing presentation and using a specific strategy of video that I'm gonna break down if you stay till the end. If you guys don't know me and you're new here, what's up everybody? My name is Eric P. Preston. I'm the founder and CEO of Agent Launch, and I also run a revenue share organization called The Collaborative Movement with my pal, Jason Samard. We do this with hundreds and hundreds of agents who are doing 100, 200, 300 million in volume and doing this at a very high level. So I'm gonna crack open the playbook and expose to you some of the best methodologies in this video. If at any point you're interested in applying and working with Agent Launch, you can do so using the link in the description, apply and book an intro call and see if there's a fit to work together. If you need help getting started with YouTube, leave a comment below if you want a copy of my YouTube launch package. That package is gonna give you insight into what equipment to buy, how to set up your channel, tags, descriptions, titles of certain videos, and even a video script to get you started. So leave a comment below if you want to copy of that and I'll make sure I get it to you. Now, let's get into this video. The first video I want you to think about creating is a local knowledge video. Now this can take many, many forms. Now a great example is pros and cons of living in X. This is one of the videos that will get you the most traction the quickest, and it's proven to have search volume. So people are gonna look this up when they're considering moving to your area. And what you wanna do is you wanna have three, five, or seven pros and cons of living in your area. And the idea behind these types of videos, which I said can take many forms, is you wanna be an ambassador of your local area. You wanna make it known that you care about your local area, you love living there, and you're encouraging people why they might wanna live there, but you also wanna give them an honest opinion of some of the downsides to it too. Now these downsides can be very simple things like traffic, you know, maybe it's really hot in certain months of the year. They don't have to be that bad of things, but you want to make a fair analysis to build trust with people. So cover three, five, or seven pros, three, five, or seven cons, and you want to title your video like pros and cons of living in X or 10 pros and cons of living in X. If you want to do 10, feel free. This is what I always get asked by my clients is how long should my videos be? Well, your videos shouldn't be any specific length. They should be as long as they need to be to deliver the message you want to deliver. So if you have 10 pros and 10 cons, great. If you have 15, go ahead and make that video make it super long, you're gonna get people engaging with it and watching it. If you think about it this way, when someone's deciding to move, to a new city, they're gonna spend a lot of time researching that city. So it is totally okay to make a super long video. Some of the best videos I've ever created are like 55 minutes. And the reason is people come and watch them. They watch them for a really long time. You have a really long period of time to build trust with them. And then they often come back and re-watch those videos over and over again because they're gonna forget some of the details. And that's really healthy for the YouTube algorithm when people are staying and watching your content. One of the best things you can have on YouTube if you wanna generate more viewers and more subscribers is to have a high watch time. That is people sticking around on your videos and watching your videos because that signals to YouTube that your content is interesting. So however many pros and cons you have, you want to make sure that you're keeping people engaged. You have a really solid edit behind the video. The edit is very important and you want to make sure you have the right equipment, especially a good microphone. Now I'm going to describe this in my YouTube launch package like I told you, but these are some of the fundamental things you need to know. Now local knowledge videos can take many, many shapes and forms. Pros and cons is one of the easiest and most proven ones, but you can also do a negative bias type video. Some of these videos do really blow up because we get people clicking on them by throwing a negative headline at them. One of the best types of videos you can create with a negative bias is don't move to Vancouver, BC, exclamation point, exclamation point in all capitals. And then you want your thumbnail to say something like, I can't stand Vancouver or I hate Vancouver or something like that. It is a little clickbaity, yes, but you can still work into the video a lot of positives. You're just getting people to click and engage with your video. And then once they're in the video, you're gonna have time to actually build trust and rapport with them through what you're actually saying. So so either way this video takes shape, it could be pros and cons, it could be don't move here, it could be five things I wish I knew before I moved to, things of this nature. You could also say like best neighborhoods to live in this city. Things of that nature that are just gonna teach your audience about the place that you live and you wanna be an ambassador of that place so they trust you as their go-to person. Now it's really important in all your videos to have really strong call to action. So when you're making your content, you always wanna tell people how to get in touch with you, how to book a call with you, how to reach out 
out to you if they are interested in learning more and you wanna work these call to actions in your video in a really natural way. So the first video, and this is probably the biggest topic, is local knowledge. Become an ambassador of your area and make sure that you're deploying these videos correctly to your audience, especially in the early days of YouTube. You don't wanna just rely on the YouTube algorithm. You wanna make sure you're sending your videos out to your leads that you're generating online or from wherever else to make sure people are actually viewing them. Because in the early days, a lot of people won't tell you this with YouTube, but you're not gonna get much traction for the first three to six months in most cases. In some cases, some people definitely do. And if you're really good out of the gate, you can make that happen. But the biggest thing to know with YouTube is it's all about repetition over time. You need to get your reps in because at first you're not gonna be very good or comfortable on camera. You need to work on that. And the only way to work on that is by doing it over and over and over again. So play the volume game and know that eventually some of your videos will get traction if you have the right mentorship, the right scripts, the right keywords, and all of these things dialed in. And that's why you should get a copy of my YouTube launch package. It's gonna help you set up those fundamentals in the very beginning. Okay, so the second lead generation video for real estate agents I want you to look at creating is property tours instead of market updates. Most real estate agents will default to creating a market update type of video. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but think about creating a video where you actually go out into your neighborhood and you tour a few different properties at a few different price points. So you can title this video something along the lines of what does $1 million get you in Seattle today? Now the content of the video can actually be like, what's up everybody? My name is Eric Preston. I'm a local realtor here in Seattle. And I'm gonna take you through three different properties today, ranging from 500,000, 750,000, and a million dollars. So you can see what you're actually gonna get today in Seattle for $1 million. Then what you can do is you can loop in market statistics and things like that, the traditional things that you would do in a market update video. However, you have to understand that your audience is mostly interested in properties before they're gonna be interested in you. So take them on a tour, go throughout your neighborhood. You don't even have to be the listing agent for these properties. You can go out and showcase properties, drive by them, film them, do a little spot in front of them, and then you can use the edit to overlay B-roll, which is like overlaying something over top of the video. I'll give you an example right here. This is what B-roll is when I say B-roll. And you can overlay the MLS listing and some of the data behind that listing and some of the photos of the interior without actually going in the property to make it more of an immersive experience. Now you can do this every single month. So you say, what does a million dollars get you in Seattle today? Hey guys, I'm gonna take you through three different price points in Seattle today so you can see how the market's changing. You can reference to what these properties might have cost a month ago, six months ago, and maybe you can even forecast what you expect the market to do in that video. But you're using properties to actually hook people in and showcase them boots on the ground what these properties actually look like. Another thing this video is gonna do is it's gonna actually crack open your database by showcasing boots on the ground properties that they might already be looking at on your website and it's gonna create a more engaging experience with you. Now, the call to action you're gonna wanna make in this video is very simple. It's to say, hey guys, I'm gonna show you these three different properties at three different price points. If you wanna tour any of these properties or you have questions about them or you have questions about the market in general, make sure you book a call with me. I have my Calendly link in the description down below. I'm happy to have you pick my brain on the current market conditions or any of these properties. And if you even wanna see one, I'll be sure to set up a tour for you so we can go see it in person. Pretty organic call to action for your video. And this is one of the biggest things with YouTube video strategy that a lot of my clients and students and people from Agent Launch and the collaborative movement that I help actually run into is how do I make my call to action feel natural and not like you just stop the video to give a sales pitch, but instead you worked it into the video in a very natural way. So that's one of the hot tips I'll give you about call to actions is try your best and you're not always gonna be good at this right away, but try your best to make those call to actions organic feeling and relevant to the actual video you're making. All right, now lead generation video number three for real estate agents to make today is case studies. This is one of my favorite types of videos that not a lot of people actually create, but you wanna make case studies of your past clients and how you help them succeed. One of my favorite videos to make in this capacity is how we got $50,000 more for this home for a $5,000 investment. So you can talk about with how one of your clients, you actually did a quick little renovation and that could be as simple as like landscaping, paint and staging and say, this cost us about five grand and we got about $50,000 more for this property for this investment. And if you become my client, we're gonna do the exact same thing for you because we know this is gonna make both of us money in the long term. So I'll give you an example of how we did this with one of my clients. So they took a listing that actually expired in Seattle for 800,000. Now the listing was 
in pretty rough shape. In Seattle, you probably know property prices are pretty high, but they took a listing in pretty rough shape that ended up expiring. Their agent didn't sell it. So they told the client, hey, we want to take on your listing, but we want to do a big renovation and then we want to list it for a lot higher. So that's exactly what they did. So they put $125,000 into this property and guess what they sold it for? 1.2 million. So they had a $375,000 spread from the listing price they originally had it at with the reno and they bumped it up to 1.2 million and sold it at that. So they had a $375,000 profit on that renovation. So we got them to make a really strong video about what they did. And then we put that in all of the drip campaigns that we're helping them through agent launch generate through Google and other platforms so that when leads do get generated, they're immediately getting hit with content that's going to build trust and rapport with them and showcase you and your team as the local experts that they want to be working with. So leverage case studies with clients if you have them. I know some of you might be new and you may not have these yet, but if you do have them, leverage case studies of past experiences with past clients where you've had big wins to showcase your local knowledge and expertise. So those are my three lead generation video ideas for real estate agents. Now, I promised you if you stay to the end, a bonus idea. Now, this is one of my favorite things to do that very few people actually do. Now, this is a pre-listing presentation video. Now, there's a few technical details you're gonna wanna iron out going into this, but the basic idea is you wanna create a really well edited, really well scripted, really strong sales pitch type of video, and you wanna host it on a landing page. Now, you can usually link to this on your link tree or somewhere simple where it says something along the lines of our selling process. So what you wanna do with this video is you wanna break down your exact listing package and presentation in the form of a video. Whatever your unique value proposition is, you can leverage case studies, you can leverage staging, the things that you do for your clients in a marketing capacity. Put all that into a really well scripted video and sales pitch and send it to people before you go on a listing presentation with them. What this is gonna do is gonna set you apart from any other agent that you're competing with because they're gonna watch your video and the idea is that they're gonna get sold on you before you actually get to their place and talk to them. You always want to make sure all the decision makers are in the room. Of course, you probably know that. But when you precede the listing presentation with a really strong sales video, they've probably already decided if they want to work with you. And when you get to the listing presentation, you can talk at a more meaningful level because you don't have to fully sell them on you because your video did that. So create a really strong sales pitch type of video, post it on a landing page, and then send it to your clients before you get to the listing presentation. And I would frame it something like this. Hey, Mr. and Mr. Sella, I'm super excited to meet with you and go over our unique selling proposition with the hopes of we might end up listing your house. I have created a really simple video to walk you through what to expect should we work together. I'd really appreciate it if you could both be there when I get there in person and if you could both watch this video ahead of time. It'll give you ahead of time a really good idea of what it's gonna be like to work together so we can talk at a more meaningful level should you guys wanna move forward. So I hope that was helpful to everyone. If you wanna book a call with Agent Launch, you can click on the link agentlaunch.com slash apply, fill out a short application, book an intro call with me and my team. We'll walk you through our program, see if it makes any sense for us to work together. We do leverage video, we do leverage Google, we do leverage CRM systems, automations, and the whole bunch. We also recruit remote talent. We do a lot of really cool things to help you build a client acquisition system that you actually own. That's the big thing with Agent Launch and how we're different is we create systems and assets that you actually own. We don't create them in our business and rent them back to you. We build them in your business and we've had a really high success rate in doing so. So if you want to work with us, you can go to agentlaunch.com slash apply. There's a link in the description below. If you guys want the copy of my YouTube launch package, be sure to leave a comment and I'll send you a link to go grab that. If you guys have any questions, also leave them in the comment. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my future content. I look forward to it. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.